So this is our new Hover Compact LE. Um, so we're making this in a 115, 100, 80, and 70 liter. Um, and essentially what our team really wanted to do is make a board more or less for like the Euro freestyle scene. Um, so it's a really short, packing a ton of volume uh, into a little bit wider platform. Um, it's got a bit more nose rocker to it too. So for like jumping and whatnot, when you come down and sort of bounce back off the water, it'll kick back off. Um, but yeah, definitely a convenient one for the guys who want something a little bit shorter. Um, but uh, once you're up and foiling, like they handle really well because it's a you know a smaller board, um, a bit on the thicker side. Uh, but overall, carving around and whatnot, they actually handle really well. It's not like you're if you, they ride like a smaller board um, is kind of the advantage. So um, yeah, the compact LEs are super fun. Um, then the other new board that we have is the Bullet, which was designed for racing. So really flat deck, wide nose. Um, for flat footed people like me, I really like it because it's really comfortable um, on the deck. Um, heavy bevel rails. Um, so really it's made for just hard reaches upwind. Um, it's gonna, you know, any sort of touch and go riding, it's just gonna brush off really smooth. Um, a bit narrow underfoot, um, a nice flat section. It does not have that tail kick too, so that's a little bit more early rise, kick off the water and, uh, and get to racing. Um, and also a really sizable carbon reveal through the tail. Um, so it's a full prepaid carbon construction. Um, fairly lightweight for a production board. Um, and yeah, kind of going after the, the race specialty, um, which is, I mean, there's a few races here in the US, but it's definitely picking up more in Europe. And I think it'll sort of follow suit here um, in various places. So kind of a cool, uh, cool concept board. Um, and we're doing that one in a 65 and 85. Hover wind foil 131. So for the guys who come from like a windsurfing background, but they want to get into wing foiling, but they're like, I want something that I can still windsurf foil with. So that crossover, um, this is kind of a board I was asking for is I wanted a under seven foot board um, just because the hover crossover 120 and, and 140, those are great for a range of, you know, for stand up surfing and whatnot. Um, but really the sub over seven, seven foot is a bit long, I think for foiling performance. Um, so the six, six size is, is definitely a bit better. The inflatables. Yeah. Um, so really easy traveling. Um, they pack down super small, like basically, it basically folds here down and here on the sides. Compact, small, easy to travel with. Um, and especially too, once you get it up to a proper PSI, you know, up to 20 PSI, it's rock solid. Um, so plus it's got the carbon plate. Um, in the, the stance area as well. So foiling performance and whatnot, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of play on your on your foil or anything like that. Good travel buddy. And you're not gonna sacrifice too much. Um, I also kind of like them for uh, like school use too, just cause it's gonna bounce off stuff a little bit more versus, you know, cracking your boards and whatnot. Um, but you know, any, everything's gonna get beat up in school use anyways, so. Um, Yes, yeah, so this one's doing, uh, we just start, have an 80 coming out, 100, 135, this is a 135, um, and then a 170. Yeah, so. The, this is the 135? 135, yeah. That's, that's been the most popular? For sure, yeah. yeah, the 135 has been really popular. Um, 170, yeah, I'd say the 135 is the most popular, 175, 170 is the second, and then um, uh, 100 and, and we'll see how the 80 does. The 80 is actually a brand new board for this next year. So it's a little bit more wider nose entrance. We've been seeing a lot more women getting into wing foiling than like other wind sports. Um, so we decided to take our carbon ultra in the 75 and 95 and do a little bit more uh, female specific graphic on it. So went with our Alana theme um, that we see in our kite boards and, uh, and other, other products. And, yeah, just do that in a 95 and, and 75, um, which are two sort of the more popular sizes for, for that demographics.